let's write down the formula again. So T n sub 0 divided by 2n number of half years. Number of half years is equal to uh, some time over uh, half-life. Oopsie. Okay. So let's label what we have. After 20 days, that's T. So T is equal to 20 days. 120 kilogram sample of blah, 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 decays down. So M sub 0, the initial mass is 120, 120 kg. Um, just uh, decays down to 7.5. So that's, uh, m that's my um, final mass or after some time mass. What I have left is 7.5 kg. Okay. And then it's asking for um, half-life, so we don't know that. So one half is unknown. Okay, so let's figure this out. In, well, in order to figure that, this out, we have to use this formula. But in order to figure this out, we need to know a uh, number of half years. Okay, so let's use this equation first. So I'm going to bring that down here. Um, 7.5 is equal to 120 over 2 to the nth power. So switch it, multiply by 2 to the nth power on both sides and divide it by 7.5, which is 120 over 7.5. Um, let me see. That should equal to uh, 16. Okay. So we have 2n is equal to 16. 2 is 2 to the nth power is equal to 16. So n is um, 4. Okay, so we need four half-lives, so n equals four. Let's use another equation or formula, this one right here, to figure out our half-life here. Okay, so now n equals four, so we let four is equal to, uh, t is after 20 days, so t over uh, half-life. Okay, so again, we solve for t half-life here. Half-life is equal to 20 over 4, so that's um, 5 days. So our half-life, our answer to this problem is 5 days.